finally home. And the update is finally out, so you know what that means, chat? We gotta find out who hurt our fluffy boy. Once it finishes updating, of course. I how close I might have been. Oh, there it is. Please let it be her. Kidding me? You have got to be fucking kidding me. Why? That actually hurts, bro. That actually hurts. Does that mean I can't get my cute arc on? Got fucking pitching. Are you fucking kidding me? Wait a moment. Before attending the meeting, I hope you can promise me one thing. What's that? What do you need? Promise me that you won't commit to anything too reckless. I'll do anything for my fluffy boy. What do you think? Okay. I'll do anything for my fluffy boy! Case, Candace can cuddle you to your heart's content while I continue to remind you of the seriousness of our situation. Can you cuddle me with your pecs? Greed on a plan. How the plan is too radical and carries a high risk for casualties. I've given it a lot of thought. But it's still the best plan we have. I did. And that's how I saw the danger behind these so-called advantages. Ahitham's <sighs> oh, plan is even more radical than I imagined. The deaths of enemies. Whoa! But now that we're allies... I'm against the meaningless loss of our own. Whoa! I'm okay with the- Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Sino! Oh shit, that got dark really quickly. <laughs> I can't believe a mantra would actually care about us. I've lived a hard life and- I've always treated my allies with honesty and respect. Now you're making this hard for me. Hey, is there something we can do to help? I'm afraid you'll regret it first. King Jeshred will curse you! Silence! Oh! Uh... Did you just punch him in the face? Restrain them and take them back to Caravan Rebot. Count them- Yes, sir! Did they just punch him in the face? <laughs> Mahamatra Sino, I will now take my leave. Understood. You are dismissed. Oh my god, I literally just fucking punched him go. in the face. Let's talk elsewhere. Uh, how, much, hmm, how much do I want? Hey, how about paying me with a smile? What do you say? I haven't seen you smiling much recently. If you ask me, someone like you must look lovely when they smile. Come oh. on, give me a smile so that I can be less worried. Oh, look at that little mean smile. She's so cute. <laughs> Looking good. I hope this pretty smile will become our lucky charm. There are many kinds Aww, of smiles, but only a truly so... joyous one can bring blessings to others. Let's go. <sighs> so you mean... you're leaving this place soon? Indeed. Otherwise, we could have perhaps talked a little more. I was just about to set out when I remembered something important. To that end, I made a final trip to Pardis Di. Let me ask. Have you been taking care of a scholar by the name of Hapasia? Your sources are accurate. No doubt because you recruited many informants. But you're right. Forgive me for asking, but how's the treatment coming along? Given the way you're asking, I assume you have something to say. Since you asked, I'll be frank. I would like to take Hapasia to Snezhnaya. <sighs> it's incredibly difficult to transfer a patient. As a scholar yourself, shouldn't you at least be aware of this? Oh? I can't believe your utter lack of faith in me, to the point of even questioning my general level of knowledge. How unbefitting. Well, you're the only one who's ever made such a request. <clears throat> I have my ways of keeping her safe during the journey. In addition, I can also promise that under my care, Hapasia will receive the most advanced and effective treatment. Press X to doubt. I will personally supervise her treatment and see to her recovery. Would that be agreeable to you? 
No! Papasia was born in Sumeru and remains a scholar of the academia. Her situation has not become dire enough to necessitate her transfer to another nation. That's Transporting what my her to saying, Snezhnaya is it. risky, and the potential benefits are unknown. As the person currently responsible for her treatment, I cannot possibly sign off on this transfer. Yeah, you tell her suggestion it. suggestion is rude and reckless. I'll pass. You say it. <laughs> I see, I see. Of course, your opinion makes perfect sense. <laughs> You're still young, but already quite stubborn. I must say, you are not like what I had expected. <sighs> Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't just let you off the hook like this. But unfortunately, I'm in a hurry today. Luckily, there is still some time left for me to take care of everything before I leave. It's just as the Academia said, you're a responsible and gifted scholar. Sadly, even with all of that, you're still lacking a bit of shrewdness. And that's also why people like you can never realize that sooner or later, everyone must pay the price for what they've learned. can't help but feel like he's hinting at something important. He asked a question, yet didn't care for my answer. He never came off as malicious, but an utter lack of compassion permeated throughout our conversation. <sighs> I can barely believe it myself, but if that's true, the situation will be in our favor. I don't think I missed any details. Sorry, we can't tell you everything. We appreciate that you helped us anyway. It's okay. I have an obligation to do so. To be perfectly honest, all of this may have started because of me. What did you do? Recently, my master wrote several letters to me, asking me to return to the academia and assist him with his research. Hasn't he already asked you several times before? Yes, but there's something off about this most recent batch of letters. My master will occasionally leave a few dots on the back of the letter. One dot means that he wrote the letter on a sunny day. This has been a habit of his for many years. But I didn't find any dots in his recent letters. Huh. I get it. Since you are always at Gandarvaville, you would like me, someone already working at the Academia, to investigate this matter. I'd like to ask you to do that for me. If you can keep yourself safe. I can do that. But I have a feeling it won't be that simple. The Academia has been working on a big project. I'm not quite sure what it is, but your master might be involved with it. Hmm. If the higher ups really are hiding something, then it will be difficult to remove myself from the situation once the investigation starts. Jesus Christ, just kiss already. If the situation becomes critical, I'll leave the Academia. If you don't see me there for an extended period, that's your cue. All right, we've got a plan. If that scenario comes to pass, you must be extra vigilant. I must say, I didn't expect a warning like this from the General Mahamatra. Being loyal to the Academia doesn't mean blindly doing whatever the Sages say. On that note, aren't you also being quite distrustful of your alma mater? The Academia, yes, but my master is a man of integrity. Even when I was a student, I was worried he'd get in trouble for sticking to his beliefs. I suppose he's lucky to have lasted so long. But in the end... Just kiss already, Jesus. I see. We can hide here while we keep an eye on... At us? It's time to say goodbye. Wait, is he the only person on the boat? Huh? It... And where are all the soldiers we saw on the port just now? They were all here just a few minutes ago. <sighs> so this was a trap. Wait, don't tell me that. Luckily, there is still some time left for me to take care of everything before I leave. Oh no. They might be after Hapasia. Let's- Huh? What do you mean? 
I'm afraid that she's seen something that she wasn't supposed to see. If I were the Fatui, I would also try to take her. Oh no! Are you. Let's go! You will hurt the wrong fluffy boy. Hi guys, how you doing? Why? 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 Oh, have the Fatui retreated? Hey! What? He's hurt. I'm fine. And don't move. I've seen Aramites get struck by lightning before. Struck by lightning? We were fighting, and just as things started looking grim, the weather suddenly became extremely strange. Lightning started attacking everyone. Luckily, there were only two of us, and both of us were nimble enough to dodge most of the strikes. There were a lot of Fatui, though, and they were being torn to shreds. With that, all the Fatui soldiers were forced to retreat. Why are you sorry? <sighs> it's all right. My wound aside, you look like... <sighs> hey, didn't I tell you not to move? <sighs> Just in case. <sighs> Let's go to Hypatia's place and talk about things there. It's, like, it's, it's, it's okay. Give me a moment, guys. to get there with one hand because I want to play something for myself. I'm gonna have my mic off for this, but basically it's <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm just gonna get up there real quick. <sighs> Goodness, she's fine. Hey, how about taking care of yourself first? I understand my condition. Yep, this is so sign uh, The wound is not fatal. I'll be all right. Uh. Hmm, maybe the Fatui want to cover up some secret of the ball- You said the Balladeer claimed that Hypatia has seen his past. Have you noticed? The Balladeer is not happy with the doctor's actions. He thinks the doctor has no right to consider himself as his equal. So, if the doctor was to show up again, would the Balladeer zap him with lightning? Based on what the Traveler has said, I think he would. Having the doctor gone benefits him as well as us. In other words, we've successfully completed the stage of the plan. The doctor is out of the picture now. Yay! That's a big accomplishment! <sighs> I'm also happy for you. Dude, just grasp Jesus Thank you for the help, fuck. Tainari. Make sure you rest up for now. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> it's like, okay, yeah, that wraps yeah. things up for you us here at Party's You fucking rester, I swear Let's to God. I will to keep hit you on the head myself. Dude, you... What are you doing? <laughs> He's just sitting up there! Violet grass is a plant that enjoys a moist environment. <laughs> And is best picked after it rains. <laughs> Hello. If you should choose to pick any, what are you be sure doing to store there? them appropriately. <laughs> Osmanthus wine tastes the same as Jesus I remember. Jesus Christ! Shut up, Jungli. But where are those who share the memory? Oh my gosh! You took the wrong fluffy boy. <laughs> but we found Tainari. Unfortunately, he was wounded during a fight. Who was behind it? Uh, well, that's the tough part. What should I say, Traveler? The Fatui or the Balladeer? <sighs> After some back and forth, we confirm that the Doctor has left Sumeru by... So, we've successfully removed the Doctor from the picture. <sighs> oh, Tainari also asked us to tell you this... <sighs> Everything also went smoothly on my side. To avoid alerting the quarry, they will stay there for now. I can't believe you actually got so many Eremites into Sumeru City. It's all thanks to Raman and his brave team, as well as their bold strategy. It appears to have been very effective. Well, is that everything? Huh? Wait, you mean that's it? Well... Shouldn't you end with some words of encouragement? 
you know. Personally, I'd rather we all go home and get some rest. Hmm. I'll hate them. Oh, and if you wanted someone to say something to that effect, then I must reiterate that I'm here to strategize and not to lead. So you should find someone more suitable to do that. But I thought all of you academia big shots were great speakers. <laughs> then I should remind you that I'm the scribe. <laughs> You'll see me as a traitor regardless of what I say. No, even if you impugn me, it would have little effect on you all. You misunderstand. Losing our scribe would irreparably damage the Academia's regular operations. However, under the current circumstances, even that is trivial compared to what we stand to gain from our great work. You said that I betrayed the Academia, but you, Azar, you've betrayed all of Sumeru. Betrayed its Archon. Hmm. So flight is turned to fight at long last. Guards! Bitch, what are you gonna do? for the power of a god in a moment of desperation. Aren't you doing the exact same thing as me, Althatham? <laughs> Unfortunately for you, no god will lend you their power. Hazar! You're <laughs> 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 Aren't you tired of He has gone nice? completely insane. Don't you want to go ape shit? <laughs> Oof! Oh my god, I just hit him over the Take him head. to the Mutra and exile him to Aru village. Oh my god. Then find someone to take these two to the confinement room. Oh my god. I'll deal with them later. They just hit him over the f head, bro. Grand Sage, we've finished it's all required preparations for Nyagarbaha Day. We may begin to enter the capsules now. Excellent. You may begin. Right, you just fucking just hit him over the head. And that smirk. <laughs> you're up to something. Bitch, you're up to something. When did it first start? Oh, right. It started from the moment I was born. I wanted to become a worthy archon. So I've kept studying. Kept listening to my people and their heart. Kept looking for a way to save Ermin Soul. So I can catch up. Catch up to Greater Lord Rukutavata. But I'm stuck in the sanctuary of Sarastana. The sages are creating a god to replace me. And I'm forced to lock my consciousness in this boundless darkness. Nahida! So quiet here. 
now that I think of it, I don't think I ever actually listened to my own inner voice. Do Archons have them? Should Archons have them? Have I been doing the right thing? Am I really not needed? How do I really feel? It's so quiet here. Since you're the god of wisdom, you've known the answers to all these questions since the very beginning. Who are you? You're right, though. I won't... I won't ignore my own voice anymore. you. Are you alright? I'm fine. It's just, when I think of everything that's happened to me, I feel really angry now. Mm. You should have been angry ages ago. seen a performance like this this is incredible yeah but i heard that public performances like these have been banned i can't believe she's doing this here grand sage there's some commotion outside <laughs> how uninteresting issue the new prohibition act from the akasha to the guards they'll know what to do I think we should, like, stop her? Let's just watch for a little bit longer. Set. All right, let's each take a... You gave such an important task to that child. It'll be fine. Isak was so determined. Besides, even if he's caught, the guards would be too scared to do anything to him. They've never... You've got a point. Good luck. 